What's going on guys? Bob Buskirk here at Think Computers and I'm going to be showing you the UEFI BIOS here on ASRock's X99WS motherboard. Now this BIOS should be pretty much the same throughout all of um, ASRock's X99 motherboards. It might be a little bit different, the skin might be a little bit different, um, but the layout and everything will be pretty much the same throughout the entire x99 line so starting out here um we are brought to the main screen so you go into the bios this is what you're going to see um this lets us know some information here so it gives us our uefi version or a bios version um processor type processor speed and cache size one thing i would have liked to see is the actual date of our bios just because you're not sure if you have the latest bios or what date i would like to see the actual date um in this version here that would have been nice um here we have our memory information, then you have a favorites menu. So if you have a setting that you like to use a lot, you can add it to your favorites menu so it's easier to find, so you don't have to dig through menus to find it. You can just put it in the favorites menu. Now most people will go into the OC tweaker here, and this is where you're gonna change everything to do with your CPU, DRAM, and your voltages and all of that stuff. So um, it does give you your targets um, for your speeds, and memory so you know if you're going to be if you know when you change things so if i go to cpu configuration and i change this to say 40 you'll see that our target goes up here to um four gigahertz or four thousand megahertz you know as you change things it will give you those targets so you know what you're going to be shooting for but in our cpu configuration this is everything to do with your cpu so as you saw i changed the um, cpu ratio here your cache ratio you have all this stuff that you need to change your cp things to do with your cpu and of course as you hover over things over here there is a description that's going to go ahead and tell you a little bit about it so if you're not sure what a certain thing does you can go ahead and look over here and it will tell you next we have our dram configuration so this is all the information to go along with your dram um, and all of those timings of course associated with your memory as well we go out of that and we go into our fiber configuration this is all the voltages to do with your cpu so all of that stuff is right in here and then finally we have our other voltages which you can see right here you have all of your voltage for your dram and everything else in this menu so everything for oc tweaker is in you know is organized so it's pretty easy to find i didn't have a hard time finding certain things the only thing i didn't have i, I thought would be in here that wasn't was a shortcut over here to our cpu configuration so you can turn different things on and off like you can turn hyper threading or turn cores off all of your information for your cpu is of course over in here and the rest of the um settings for different things like your chipset and storage it is all right here i'm not going to go through all of these menus because this is what um all all uh normal bioses have they have this stuff you know different you know you can set up your storage configuration and all that stuff it's it's in every bios um all of that stuff is in advanced if we go over to tools there are quite a few tools here um for our system browser we go ahead and click it it brings up an overview of the motherboard itself and it will show you certain things um, we can see that our one SATA port is active and we can see that we do have a Kingston drive in there, which is pretty cool. So it's actually going to show you, you know, what you have installed and all of that. And just get, you know, when you highlight certain things, it's going to tell you what they are, what you have installed, what it's running at, all of that stuff. It's actually pretty cool. Um, just if you don't know what something is or what you have installed, you're not exactly sure, especially if you have your um, PC in a normal case, you can go ahead and hover over this and see what you have. Um, we have the OMG or online management guard. What that will do is on a BIOS level, it will limit, um, internet activity so you can actually you can set a time here so you know you can restrict internet internet activity on a bios level so you know if somebody doesn't have access to the bios they can't you know turn off the software that limits internet access or something like that um, we have the dehumidifier function hdd saver easy raid installer easy driver installer ufi uefi tech service and the boot manager also we have our flash utility so we have instant flash which means that you can flash from a usb flash drive or internet flash which means you can actually flash a bios um, through the bios <laughs> via the internet so it's actually pretty cool and you can set up that never configuration by going down to the bottom option here. Hardware monitor is a real-time hardware monitor. If I move up here, 
we can see our motherboard temperature and CPU temperature as well as speeds and all of our voltages in real time. You can actually tune your fans for the best performance. You know, if you have, again, your motherboard in a case, you can tune it for the best um, overall fan performance and you can set up different modes for your fans as well. For security, you can go ahead and set a supervisor password and a user password. So if you don't want somebody getting into the BIOS, they can't. And then finally over to boot, you can sit, set your boot options and your, you know, your priorities as far as what hard drives you want to boot in what order. And at the bottom, um, you have boot failure guards and all of that kind of stuff. And then finally over here, we do have, you know, you can save all your changes and all of that stuff. And then you do have your boot override at the bottom here. So if I had say a flash drive installed, I could go ahead and um, select the flash drive and I can boot directly from the flash drive. And then the next time I restart, it will go ahead and boot from my, uh, my hard drive. So again, this, this BIOS um, works pretty well. I do like it. It doesn't have maybe some of the other features that other BIOSes have, but it's very easy to use. Again, you can use keyboard or mouse, um, you know, however you want to do it there. You can go ahead. It's not sluggish. It doesn't, you know, freeze or anything like that. All of my options were pretty easy to find again. And then once you do have the option that you like, remember you can add it to your favorites. Um, very easily. So I do like this BIOS. Now, if you have any questions about this BIOS or you can't find something or anything like that, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. And remember guys, if you like our videos, why don't you subscribe? Catch you guys later.